Hello guys, I hope you're all fine. Today we are here to discuss about equal area criterion. So let's get on topic. It is a simple graphical method. It is used to conclude the transient stability of two mesh system or the transient stability of one mesh system against an infinity bus. Here the, we know that the single equation is m into d square delta by d2 square which is equals to pm minus pa. Let it be equals one. Now if you multiply 2 into d delta by dt on both sides of this equation then we will get like this we will get like this now by simplifying that we will get like this 2 into m into d square delta by dt square into d delta by dt which is equals to d delta by dt into ps minus pa into 2 now if you multiply this equation if you multiply dt on both sides and integrating on both sides then we will get like this from this equation we will get like this d delta by dt whole square which is equals to integral d naught to integral d delta naught to delta 2 into ps minus pe by m into d delta now we can write this one by simplifying by taking the square here we, it will become root now and then we will get like this d delta by dt equals to root over integral delta naught to delta 2 into ps minus pe by m into d delta now we know that the transient for the transient state stability the condition is d delta by dt equals to 0 which is equals to this one also will become 0 as it is from this equation this one also will become 0 so if we we can we can remove this root as it is 0 here we can remove this root and also 2 will be also will be removed then we will get like this in the place of ps minus pe by m we can write to pa which here we got the equation integral delta naught to delta pa into d delta which is equals to 0 and here this is the diagram this is the diagram for equilibrium criterion and here if you observe here this area a1 it represents the kinetic energy stored by the rotor during acceleration and also here a2 area a2 it represents the kinetic energy given by the rotor to the system and for stable operation ps should be greater than ps should be greater than pe for positive area a1 and also here pe should be greater than ps for negative area a2 this is all about the equal criterion i hope you understand guys thank you